guys, welcome back to But First Coffee, where life begins after coffee. Today I am tackling a video that I just get requested like sporadically, like in random videos and on Instagram and stuff. And that is a video on how I do my winged liner look because, let's be honest, we've all done this before. This one's bigger now, so I just gotta do this one a little bit more. This one's longer than that one. Oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that. I'll just, just fill it in a little. Down a little, you know, to finish that off. I look like one of Lady Gaga's backup singers. Let's just face it, getting the perfect wing is not always easy. It's definitely one of those things where practice makes perfect, but there are some tips and tricks that I can share with you guys that I have found that I use that really help me out. So hopefully they will help you in conquering the winged liner look. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into it. The number one most important thing that I will suggest is to find a liquid liner that is compatible with you. Some people use gel and they really prefer that. I personally go back and forth, but I always find that when I want to do a really precise wing, liquid liner is always the way for me. My two favorite liquid liners are the uh, L'Oreal Infallible. This is the Super Slim. And my other is the NYX's, the Curve. These are two that I love. I highly suggest them. The basic things that I look for in a liquid liner is first I'm looking for an applicator that has a nice um, super slim tip so that I can get a nice precise line. I want a formula that is completely opaque in one swipe and is also very fluid. I don't want something that's a little too dry that's going to drag on my skin. You will actually see um, when I go to apply my liquid liner that I was accidentally using my old uh, L'Oreal Infallible, which I'm going to go throw away right now. And you'll see that like it was a little bit trickier to get a nice fluid line because it this is older and it has dried out a little bit. Okay, the next thing that I always do is I dot out my wing. So I basically create a little map on my eyes for how I want my wing to be. Now in the tutorial, I only show you this on one eye, but I actually do both eyes before I go and fill in the complete wing. Once I have the map, I can look at myself in the mirror and make sure that like I don't have one wing that's up too high and one that's like a little bit droopy. So as far as the dots, I put one in the center of my eye where I want the wing to go up. Sometimes I go a little bit lower, sometimes I go a little bit higher. In general, it's nice to have the wing go a tiny bit higher in the center of your eye, helps open up your eye and sort of give you that doe-eyed look. The next that I always do is the one that I'm going to use at the very end of my lash line and I basically just put it at the very end of my natural lash line. And then the last dot, which is the most important one, is where your wing is going to go. And this is going to vary for a lot of people. It depends on your eye shape. It depends on how dramatic of a wing you want. In general, the best way to find your best wing shape is to follow your bottom lash line. And if you sort of just follow along your bottom lash line, you'll find that if you just keep going that that will actually extend in a natural shape that's going to give you a nice winged look. A nice tip about following the bottom lash line is that you're not going to end up with a wing that's too droopy. Sometimes people will just draw the wings out a little too straight. It's going to actually make your eyes look a little droopy. The next thing you're going to do is connect the dots and you'll see here that I'm using that older liquid liner by accident and so I have a little trouble at the beginning and then I realize I'm using the wrong one. The way that I like to do it is I start in the inner corner of my eye and I connect the center dot to the um, dot that's at the, the end of my natural lash line. And then I flip around and I draw from the wing line down to where my natural lash line ends. So you're going to connect the wing dot to the dot that's at the um, bottom of your natural lash line as well as to the dot that's in the center of your eye, creating an angle where the wing dot is the vertex of that angle. And then once you have that, you can go ahead and fill it all in. Next, unless I just happen to get the most perfect wing, which does happen sometimes, I often will come in with a Q-tip with a tiny bit of makeup remover on it just to make sure that my edge is nice nice and sharp. I can clean up any little spots and get a nice sharp edge. The next thing I do is come in with a pencil liner, um, another black one, and I use this to tight line and also just to fill in any little tiny gaps in between my lashes that the liquid liner might have gotten. And then of course you're going to finish everything off with mascara and you're done. That about does it. That is how I get my wing to look when I am using a liquid liner. I hope that some of my tips and tricks sort of helped you out. If you're still trying to conquer the perfect wing, just take your time, practice. Eventually you're going to get it, I promise. Use the makeup remover on Q-tip trick in case you mess up a little bit. Just erase the mistake and start over again. It's no big deal. I really appreciate you guys stopping by and watching. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video. Mm -hmm.